Terminal Cancer Data Driven Results. My name is Mark Bryant, and eight and a half years ago, I was considered terminally ill after I'd had a full intensity stem cell transplant for acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Unfortunately, in July, I had a relapse, and due to some changes to my treatment plan in the UK, it gave me the opportunity to come back to America to do treatment that has worked before. I launched a Help Save a Dad GoFundMe campaign and we're just over halfway there. I completed two weeks treatment with Dr. Maharaj in Florida. So before I go any further, let's dive into the conversation I had at the end of last week with Dr. Maharaj where you get to hear his approach and what he's hoping to achieve with the treatment I've recently received. I got here a week and a half ago and we tested my immune system and it was better than I expected. We're going to finish this block on Saturday. But with regards to the type of treatment and your view on medicine and how you look to help cancer patients, what are we hoping to achieve in this two weeks block? Yeah. And what's that going to give us and which will help me make a decision on my next steps? I think that the most optimistic goal that I see for us would be that we want to get you into what we call a molecular remission. Mm -hmm. So I need to explain that. I'm a bone marrow transplant physician. I've been using a different approach to bone marrow transplantation, which is I have three objectives. One is that we do everything outpatient, mm -hmm. out of the hospital, minimal complications. Number two is good quality of life. Number three, results, very price, precisely mm -hmm. measured results. So the cause of leukemia and your leukemia is a cancer stem cell. Mm -hmm. And that cancer stem cell has, has become a rogue cell, which now has a specific mutation mm -hmm. in it, which we can detect. It's called, it's called a bcr able mutation. Our approach is by measuring your immune system, I can look at the specific cells of your immune system mm -hmm. which fights cancer. In the immune system, there are two parts. There's the innate and the adaptive immune system. Yeah. And you've heard me talk about natural killer cells. Mm -hmm. Natural killer cells are basically cells which do not need memory of having seen the cancer before. Mm -hmm. So when we looked at... Uh, and then there's the adaptive immune system, which are your B cells and T cells. And we can come back to that mm -hmm. because you had CAR T cell therapy, mm -hmm. you had a bone marrow transplant before. Mm -hmm. And I'm try just trying very quickly to explain the differences. This is a personalized precision approach because we're looking at specifically your immune system. So when I measured your immune system, mm -hmm. when you came the first day, I'm looking at the specific cells which we had used before from you mm -hmm. that we stimulated to kill the cancer. Mm -hmm. And what I saw is that those cells on this immune panel, they're low. So therefore, the treatment I'm giving you, which is a, basically is going to stimulate those cells to increase them and bring them up to yeah. a normal or high level. And the idea was we would do this two week course of treatment and then we will measure your immune system again at the end of the treatment, we'll compare before and after. So now we'll get a pretty good idea as to how well you've responded with those specific cancer-fighting cells mm -hmm. that we know has worked before for you. Uh, I can't thank Dr. Maharaj enough for seeing the light and changing your approach. I'd like to say thank you to everyone who has supported you as well because mm -hmm. In life, we're here to help others, mm -hmm. and in, we, have, we all have different gifts. Everyone who's looking mm -hmm. at this will have different ways of being able to help you. But the collective help that everyone's sending you, positive messages mm -hmm. of getting better, works. Yeah. And I think we're doing our bit because I'm looking at the science of it using my years of experience mm -hmm. of being able to develop this approach, which we know has worked for you before. And so, that's our goal. We want that to work as well. You're looking fantastic, by the way. So, <laughs> you know, Thank so you. we want you to stay looking the same way Thank you. Uh, going forward and doing all the great things that you have ahead of you with your family and yourself. I hope you enjoyed that conversation that I had with Dr. Maharaj to help you get a feel for his approach. And I honestly believe that if I hadn't have met Dr. Maharaj in 2017, I wouldn't be here today. He really did create a lifeline for me. I launched the GoFundMe campaign back in the end of August to make this possible. And as a result of putting myself out there, I was introduced to another doctor over here in San Diego. And so in update three, I explained why I decided to come here. 
and that it was a very difficult decision. I'm halfway through that week's worth of treatment. I am so glad that I made that commitment. I'm flying out of here on Sunday and I'll be landing back in England on Monday morning and then straight back into the healthcare system in the UK having a bone marrow and blood work on Tuesday. And at that point, I've got to decide what my next steps are. The topic of this update is data-driven results for terminal cancer. For the last five or six years, I've really tried to divulge myself in the latest in longevity medicine, the metabolic approach to cancer, particularly in the last 12 months where I'm training to be an advocate to help support other cancer patients on their cancer recovery journeys. And also keeping abreast of what's going on in standard of care because that is ever evolving too. The treatment that I had recently wasn't available eight or nine years ago when I had my first relapse. I've had tests before and after Dr. Maharaj's treatment. I'm using biological age testing to test the effectiveness of the treatment I've had over here. And then I'll test again in six to eight weeks to see where I'm at because the treatment I've had here, its benefits will continue to unfold in the coming weeks and months. So I've got to make some very sensitive decisions as I get back to the UK because it will be likely that I'll be looking to postpone the treatment that I'm being offered. I believe that I can recover the immune system I currently have without adding a third person into the mix not just having me, but having my brother and also my sister inside of my body will then create potential challenges moving forward. My goal is to use the cells I currently have and rebuild them and regenerate them and rejuvenate them using the best of longevity medicine, what Dr. Maharaj uses, and the testing to validate the effectiveness of what I'm doing. As a result of doing the Metabolic Approach to Cancer Advocate course, I feel I've got the confidence and the knowledge and the personal experience to help other cancer patients. My mission has become clear over the last couple of weeks being away is that I want to empower one million cancer patients. Currently, there are five to six million new cancer cases in the westernized world each year. In 2040, it's likely that these numbers are going to increase by 50%. The new cancer patients each year is going to increase from 6 million to 8 to 10 million a year. So we have to do something now. And I believe that I've got the right mindset, the right experience to speak into this, to really make a, make a difference. So all I ask is that you please help keep me alive. Please keep supporting this Help Save a Dad GoFundMe campaign. Lots of love, Mark Bryant.